you all must be used to changing things up. Lord help my husband of 30 plus years because he's still not used. And did I mention that I like to be different? Hey there, it's Grace. Welcome back. Welcome if you are new. Thank you for being here in this Grace video. So about that changing things up that I like to do, I'm going to give it to you straight. There will be two currently in videos this month. I know, I know, I know. This might be a, what you talking about, Willis Sitch. Let me explain. So in my July Ink Report, I mentioned that I came away with a few thoughts, insights into how I want to go forward, at least for the time being, until I change things up again. Hey, girl's prerogative, right? All of this from, from actually doing 30 inks and then jumping right into the leftovers edition that followed in um, July. 12 pens were still inked, so I carried them all over into July, and I realized I love the variety of pens and inks I had to choose from that month, but carrying all those 12 pens and having to choose one became a pain in the tush. So I came up with a different plan for currently ink this month in August. I'm, I'll see if I want to carry it on further. I don't know. I'll be inking up six regular pens, maybe seven at the beginning of the month. Right now, only six have been inked up, but I really want to write with an ink I found straightening out my ink drawer. We'll see about that. I'm, I'm not sure about that. The different thing I'll be doing this month is halfway through at the two week mark, I'll be assessing which pens I still want to use for the remainder of the month. I'm betting it probably won't be more than three. And then I'll be inking up brand new sets of maybe four to six pens, depending on the remainder of the month and what I want to do. So basically, currently ink will last two weeks at a time for the time being. This way I get to have the variety I crave in the month, but not the pressure I felt with 12 or more pens inked up at the same time. By the way, those last four words, at the same time, are key. Because although 12 pens were left over from 30 inks from last time, within the first few days of July, I had only eight pens left. So there was hardly any ink left in the four of them. Now I'm hoping this makes sense to y'all, but regardless, it makes sense to my brain. Forever in my mind are the words I heard from Simone in one of her videos a couple, a couple months ago, make this hobby our own. So I'm thinking, I'm putting that as a part of how I approach all of this for right now. I've never been good at following the crowd because in my head, I'm always asking, why, why? I can see my mom knowingly roll her eyes sometimes because I always went the opposite way. And apparently I just didn't grow out of that habit. So before we get to the business of swatching, I'm gonna give you a brief example. Early in our marriage, Hubs was always going on business trips all the time. And on one of those trips, we just signed the mortgage papers to our new house. We moved in, he went away. When he got back 10 days later, the fireplace wall had been painted orange. The whole wall. What can I say? I got tired of builder eggshell. So <laughs> anyway, let's get to what I picked for current ink for August, part one. All right, here we go. By the way, this edition is called, because you know I have to name each month's edition. This edition is called Dark and Stormy. Well. The whole name that I came up with is, it was a dark and stormy night with a little bit of Dracula's wrath thrown in. Well, that was way too much to put in the title on the YouTube, so we shorten it to dark and stormy. But you know, now you know what this edition is called. Um, the first pairing, the first Pip's pairing, um, and you'll understand the dark and stormy in a minute. Because really, I'm, I'm really going out there. This whole month is experimenting, I think, with um, inks, inks in particular, and how these inks in particular and how they handle, how pens handle them. Okay, enough. Let's go with the first one. The first one is my Opus 88 Omar. And this is what I was gonna use, the parallel pen. Now, if you don't know about the parallel pen, there's lots of, actually, I'll leave a site that talks about the parallel pens in the description box so you can know all about it. But these are the two I got. Now, I haven't yet unboxed or done, a, done an unboxing for this Opus 88 Omar, it's called. And that's mainly because 
I got it on sale to use with a parallel nib. Well, come to find out, there's only one pen that can be used with the parallel nib, because I've tried to put it in here and it did not work, um, is that pen is the demonstrator, the, op the Opus 88 demo. And I'd also decided to fill, because I couldn't use this, because I was going to use this pen, which is a 2.4 um, millimeter, millimeters, not, I keep saying millimeter. Oh, that's right. Milliliters is what I say wrong. Anyway, um, I keep trying to, um, I wanted to try to put this, this 2.4 millimeter nib in here and that sucker would not go in. So I've decided not to do any of that. In here is just a regular nib that came with the Omar pen, with the Opus 88 pen, and um, a converter. And then the ink I got is, this is so serious. This one is KWZ Sheen Machine 2. I know, I know, it's a lot of sheen, and it doesn't actually show up on the tip either, which is interesting. Um, so that's what I'm using. Let's get to... Let's get to um, putting some of this out there. And I don't necessarily, I know I don't necessarily have to um, shake this, but it's one of the things I do, especially with the sheen. Let's see what we have. Look how dark that is. And let's come in just a touch so we can see just what's happening. Oh my, oh my, that's really, really, really dark. Hmm. All right, let's do some writing. I'm gonna shake this up as well. Now, I have not written with the pen. Um, this is really totally new for me. I have not written or done anything with the pen. So let's start this process. Oh, you're starting to see the sheen almost immediately. Um, this is the... Oh, I have no space to put my little flowers. All right. So that's the first one, Opus 88, with a KWZ sheen machine. All righty. All right, um, Sheen Machine is, I didn't tell you about the, the ink. Sheen Machine is a, as we all know, it's a Sheen Machine. So it's a heavy sheener. It's a green ink um, as the base. And I think it's a red, I wanna say, obviously, yeah, red sheen that comes out. So we'll see how that works. Um, this is an experiment with both um, nib and especially with this one with the parallel pen. I won't be demonstrating that here. I'm just going to do experiments with the parallel pen. But it's all it's all about experimentation a lot of this because a lot of this has a lot of the inks that I'm using has sheen and shimmer in it. And this I most people use the parallel pen for calligraphy work. I'm just playing. I'm just I'm basically doing artwork. I want to find a different way to use the inks and so I'm going to creates maybe some abstract art with it. All right, next one up is, next pen for these first two weeks at least, is my Benu Euphoria Earl Grey. This is such a gorgeous pen. I'm, uh, I'm on the glitz bandwagon now, y'all. I'm all about the glitz bandwagon. And the ink that I will be using with it is um, this one. This is Diamine Seven Deadly Sins sloth. Now there's a story to this. Originally, originally I had planned to use um, uh, my Jinhao 82 pen and Sailor Dipton ink. Now if you, if you know anything about Sailor Dipton ink, this is ripe fig. If you know anything about it, Sailor recommends that you only use this for a dip pen. I've been reading on Reddit that people are using it in their pens and ha are, they are having success. So I thought, this is an experiment month. 
let me see how it turned out. So I tested it, I put it actually in the sailor pen, and then I dipped a uh, my Roaring Kling Klinger dip pen with it. And as you can see here, this is the sailor pen, and it, it hardly shows any. You can see, I mean this, you can, I can see it. Let's see if I can, no, I can't see it. Or I can't see it on the camera. Um, this is the sailor pen with the Dipton ink right fig in it. Looking for the green sheen, it says. This is with the dip pen, a glass dip pen. Definitely, there's a difference between the two. So what I did is I quickly rinsed out the pen because I didn't, because it's not coming out on the on the sheet, it's not coming out at all, that means it's staying in the pen. So I quickly rinsed out that pen and chose another color, another ink, and another pen because I didn't, I actually didn't want to write with the sailor. I just, that was really just to test out this Dipton ink. So, experiment fail, but that's okay. So I'm going with Diamine Seven Deadly Sins Sloth. So let's do that. You can see that red sheen. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I can see it from my angle. That red sheen is really, really coming out. Well, I'll tell you, these are, these are dark inks. They are dark. And this one is, um, this one has a blue base, if I'm not mistaken, with a red sheen as well. And I'm going to do something different. I need to have my little flowers. I need to have my little flowers. So I'm going to write something different from this one because we already have that. So we have um, the new so you can see it coming out in some of the of the pen. I think at the beginning there, I really literally just put this in there right before I started recording, which is why that nail is full of blue because it dripped. Um, I think that was the the beginning part of maybe some water was still in there, but it definitely comes through in the whole thing. It's, it's gonna be a fascinating writing with this. These two in swatches look almost the same, but I'm so glad that it looks, I don't know if you can see, it looks different. The color looks different, so, I don't know. Um, the, I like the fact that I chose this sloth because it still brings in the dark and stormy vibe. Alrighty, next pen and combination is I'm using my Platinum 376, 3776 Century with a soft fine nib. I'm hoping this works out well. And this is the Dracula part of that whole sentence. Remember that the whole, the whole title of this video is it was a dark and stormy night with a little bit of Dracula's wrath thrown in. This is the Dracula. This is an ink that I just got at the Pacific Northwest Pen Show. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Look at all that shimmer. Okay, let's see if we can get some of that. The ink has a, um, the ink is red with a green shimmer to it. We'll see how this rolls out. I want to get the shimmer. I really want to get the shimmer in there. There's that one. And we'll shake that up before we start writing. This is I don't know how much shimmer I'm gonna get with a soft fine nib, but we'll see. This writing with a soft fine nib is writing, oh my god, the bounce on this nib is fantastic! 
Oh my God. I'm hoping that some of it will show up. I think I really do have to um, shake it a lot. You can see it coming there. It's happening there. Alrighty, the next pen, for, next pen and ink combination for this August, this first two weeks of August is my latest acquisition. This is a Carolina Pen Company. Um, I do have an unboxing for this. You will notice though, that this pen has a gloss cap and a matte, come on, focus, and a matte barrel. And I will, I will put the unboxing of this pen so that you can go and figure out why this pen has these two mismatched, although I love it, I love it. Okay, and the ink I will be using is, um, what I'll be using? This is the part of the Wrath, Dracula's Wrath, thrown in. Um, this is Seven Deadly Sins. I'd like you to focus, thank you very much. Seven Deadly Sins Wrath. And this ink is a red base with a green sheen and a purple shimmer. What goodness! Oh my gosh! I am so looking forward to write with this. But let's get a swatch down first. Come on, open up, give, give up all the goodies. just a touch. Alrighty. I'm hoping I get all the goodness in there. I really want all the goodness. So let's shake this up and then we will write with it. So far it's really coming out. It looks almost red to me, this whole thing. I'm going to wipe this off because we've got a lot of Looks like we got, I don't think we got much spillage, but we got some. Alrighty, this pen is... And the ink is... Oh, come on. Alrighty, wow. Look at that mess I'm making. Oh my goodness. Where did that come from? One second whilst I do a little cleaning up. Clean up on aisle seven. That's much better. So next pen is going to be um, one of my favorites. I love the texture of this matte body here is almost the same texture of this whole pen. This pen is the Estebrook Esty Raven, the piston model, has a medium nib. Uh, oh my God, I love feeling, I love touching this pen, that one. And the ink I'm going with, and this is the second time I'm using this ink in this pen, because it wrote so beautifully. The ink I'm going with is Lamy Dark Lilac. Oh my God, oh my goodness. I tell you, I know I, this is this went when when I instituted my rule of 15 mils or less for inks that I buy. That rule came in after I purchased this ink, and I'm so glad I got this ink. Um, it is it is a gorgeous gorgeous thing. Let's get prepared to do a swatch here. I want all the goodness to show up. All the goodness. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, that's probably what it was. Let's do that. And this is... Ink is 
Islami. You are juicy, Lamy Dark Lilac. You're just dripping out juiciness indeed. Let's just try to get that. Just absorb it for now. Oh my goodness, look at the mess I'm making. Ay, ay, ay. I might have just have to leave this and wait till later. I don't want my, oh my word. I am making such a mess here. I am making major, major, major mess. Off screen, you don't see this and you don't need to see that anyway. So there you go. Alrighty, oh my goodness. I mean, we are totally losing the sheen, the base color in the sample. Anyway, last one is, um, last pairing is kind of like, I chose this one because of the name, kind of like to energetically balance the dark and stormy side. The pen is uh, my Eisvine P20 with a medium nib. Um, I just love this pen, so gorgeous. This is the, um, the amber color. Look at that, oh my gosh. And then the ink that I've chosen is Diamine Invent Rainbow's End. Isn't that appropriate for a dark and stormy, you know, yin and yang type thing going? And the ink is so pretty. The ink is just deliciously pretty. It is a dark blurple. I love that name. Dark blurple that obviously satisfied the dark in the edition. But it is just a blurple with a shimmer that's so sweet. Look at that. And I need that shimmer to show up. Okay, that's good. As I said, this is part of the um, Inkvent for 2023 Diamine cal Inkvent calendar. And it's a chameleon ink. And it has, so a chameleon ink that Diamine describes is it's an ink with shimmer, but dependent upon the angle of the light of the of the writing on the page, it changes how the color is viewed. So, as fine, P20 with a medium. Am I using all mediums except for Platinum 3776? All the pens are medium. Okay. Must be in a medium frame of mind. Diamine um, rainbows. I'm gonna put this over here because I need a place to put my flower. Just a little bit of decoration. Okay. So there are the six pens being used. Come on, just a touch. Those are the six pens. Look at that mess. Look at that mess. Oh my God, this whole table is filled with this color. Um, those are the six pens. Those are the six inks being used. I'm gonna let this dry for a minute and then come back and show you close-ups. How about that? How about that? All right, let's look at what we have. Um, the sample swatches are somewhat different than the actual um, writing samples, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. Let's look at that first one. There is the Opus 88 Omar medium nib with the KWZ Sheen Machine 2. Now this sheen, this pen base is, the ink base rather, is green with a red, heavy red shimmer. And I'm thinking you're getting a lot of, you don't even see the green base here at all. But I'm wondering the camera will pick up. There is a little bit, there's a sheen happening on there. It doesn't come across as green in the writing. It still comes across as just a dark color, which is that dark red sheen. Next up is the Benu Earl Grey. Um, this one has, this one has a, Benu Earl Grey has a blue base 
the diamine sloth, a blue base with a red sheen. And you're seeing that show up, that blue base. Um, not so much the red sheen here. I'm just trying to see if I can find it to show you. It's not showing up necessarily here, but you can see the different colors. The red, the gray, the red trying to show up here and in the word gray. And I think I spelled that wrong. Um, next one up is the Dracula. Dracula, as you can see, has that purple sheen right there. Um, because this is a soft, fine nib, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna get sheen-wise in this particular pen, but I really wanted, I didn't want to use another, the pens that I have that would show this up, I didn't want to use it. Let's just put it that way. So, Platinum, Platinum Set 3776 it is, with a soft, fine nib, and I'm hoping with enough shake-up, I'll get some, some shimmer, maybe. Next one up is the Carolina Pen Co. Come, um, pen with Diamine Wrath. And you can see some of it show up in the sample. Let's see. You can see some of it right there showing up in the sample. It's not very much. I'm hoping that with my writing um, in my journal and elsewhere, I'll show up. That shimmer will show up. Um, the Shimmer Diamine Wrath. The shimmer is a green shimmer with a um, pur purple shimmer with a green sheen. I think that's what it, this is supposed to be. Let me check that. I think it's purple. Look at my now. Green sheen with purple shimmer with a red base. That's not bad. That's not bad. The next one up is, well, that Dark Lamy. That, this is the new version of Dark Lilac um, by Lamy. And this one has a heavy sheen. And you can see the purple background with the heavy sheen there. And it shows up so beautifully in this writing. Look at that. You can see it, barely see it on camera. I apologize for that. And then the last one, the rainbow's end, I just like it because it's a, it's a dark purple or blurple ink. And it has all of that beautiful, beautiful, I think it's pink shimmer, if I'm not mistaken. Um, pink shimmer on there. It wants to look, there's the pink. Um, face on it wants to look copper. But as you can see, it does look pink in there. So there, that's it. That's what I have for at least these first two two weeks. The last thing um, I will be gluing down, I love this splotch of, the baggy splotch of color. So I will be gluing that, that down here a little bit later because it really just shows up. You can see there that wrath, it shows up that sheen and it shows up the shimmer really beautifully and that dark lilac dang that's just like green shimmer sheen taken over wow which is interesting oh i have it upside down dang it that's what it what's what's wrong i have it upside down i'm like that's not purple that is the kwz you can see that green base and little bits of red shimmer all over the place and then the, um, what is the next one up? Wow, that looks so different. Interesting. Okay, there we go. That's that's what we have. So I'm gonna put that in here somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna put that in here. But there you go. That's it for the first two weeks in August. We'll see how it goes. I've been using the pen since August 2nd because I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. Um, it's interesting writing with the darker inks. Um, in my journals and elsewhere because I usually do uh, like a rainbow of color. Um, you can see I do a, usually do a rainbow of color and, and stuff. All different colors and not necessarily all dark inks. Um, let me know what you think about this variation I'm doing with my color, currently inks. Um, is it something, are you doing currently inks and is it something you would consider doing this variation I'm doing of two weeks. Every two weeks I'll ink up enough pens, six pens, and then see what I want to carry over and then ink up maybe more. I, I like the variation each month. Um, also, how many pens do you ink up in a month? How many pens do you ink up? And what is what suits you for pen usage in a month? Inquiring minds, inquiring minds want to know. All right, see you guys later.